Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, or if it's your first time, consider subscribing if DIY car stuff is your jam, especially with the Porsche Cayman 987, which is what we're gonna work on today. So to clean those front radiators, the first step is to remove this bumper. And I have a separate video for that right up here to split up the work. So once you have this cover off, come back and join me. All right, once you have come this far, it's pretty easy. We have a T25 that is hiding in here that we just have to uh, get a little extension, get into. All right, get that guy out. And hiding down here, we got one more. Now, the only thing holding this thing on are these two plastic tabs. So you can just pull this away. And, uh... and from the back, you can just take a little screwdriver, push in the tab, and then poke that one through. And same over here. Well, you get the idea. I'm gonna have to go catch this thing. comes out. All right, do the bottom one first. That's my advice. All right, with two hands, it's really easy. And, oh my gosh, I have an entire bird in mine. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I think it was time to get in here and clean this. After getting rid of our little bird friend, there's just one little eight millimeter right here. I have to remove. And with that, disconnected, we should be able to lift our whole radiator up. Again, there's a little clip holding that piece, that side in, so you can just slide this out to the right, and the radiators are now disconnected. Typically, this is where a ton of trash gets stuck, but fortunately, this one is not too bad, sans the bird, so just get a uh, shop vac and vacuum that all up. All right, easy to put that back together. I'm gonna to go check on the other side. All right, I'm gonna put this back together. Just don't forget to stick these two little tabs back in. Slide that in, place our eight millimeter. Make sure that this tucks up underneath there or else it's not going to uh, fit all the way back flush but... all right when you remove this one on the passenger side in the u.s you still have this uh, connector attached to it it's your exterior temperature sensor you can uh, spin that around this has a little tab that you press and pull out to disconnect so let me show you what that looks like. It's just a little tab on the end. Press down with my fingernail and it lifts that up so you can pull it right out. All right. This one actually looks like my radiator is bent a little bit. Some more gunk in here, clean it out. All right, that's it. If you have any tips to help make this a better process, please comment below. And if this was helpful to you, please do take the time to give it a thumbs up, like the video, because it really does help the channel, helps the video get out there to people who wanna see it. So I appreciate you all, and I will see you guys on the next video.